Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Tuesday, October 5th, 2010. This morning I wanted to show some more integration of Google Calendar stuff with existing Small Talk code. So to give you an example of what I'm talking about, I've created this class called GCal Module. I put it in a separate package because the other example package I put together up here did not depend on my whole syndication RSS Atom package. This one does, so I didn't want to have to burden that simpler example package with this. With that out of the way, I've subclassed RSS Module and I've created a couple of instance variables in here to get the metadata that comes down with this. What am I talking about? Well, let's do a request to the Google service to get just the basic calendar, and that's what this guy gets. It just gets the basic calendar feed. So let's do this and inspect the XML that comes back. And the XML has a whole bunch of information in it. If you scroll through here and look hard enough, you'll find there's some meta information for Google Calendar, and that's what I parsed out here. If you take a look at this class, this guy has some indication of how to parse this for these nut modules, how to map it over into the instance variables and so on. And all I do now is do this, constructor get feed from stream. And this again uses the basic API I have for my RSS and Atom support in that library. And I can get an RSS feed. And let's inspect that. Actually it's an Atom feed if I want to be specific about it. And if I come in here you'll find that I've got a module dictionary, but each of those elements is down at the item level. A feed has an entire feed and then individual items, so item one, item two, item three, and so on. Let's go into items, and now for the first item, let's go in there, and you find that there's a module dictionary here, and in here, one of the items is gcal. And if I open that up, you'll find that all those instance variables I mentioned, so let's push this out of the way for a moment. We'll come over here to the definition, so I have access level, color, and so on. And here they are. Now, not all of them have data associated with them, but they can. So here's the color. It's some hash string for it. And then I have the hidden, prefix, selected, time zone. So all of that information has come down and is now part of this general feed object. And it's ready to integrate with any other application I may have, like Bottom Feeder, that knows how to deal with RSS and Atom items. So here's a simple example of taking general data that comes from Google putting it into a form that I can deal with in an application I already have, and integrating it. So, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.